probably clearly marking the objectives like modern games. It's like, oh, you gotta get to this objective first, and then this one. It's like, no, you gotta do all the objectives in any order you want. You miss one, then good luck, because you're gonna have to backtrack. Keep it up, soldier. Excellent, man. I haven't seen that in a long time. Once again, favorite weapon, Bolter P38. <sighs> it's been my favorite weapon. Like pistol the last couple of rounds. <sighs> all-around gun they give you. Decently accurate, decently powerful. And then unlike the sniper, it doesn't overly zoom in. Like, I'm gonna be hitting anything more than like 20 meters away. You made it just in time. You'll be starting at the stern, right above the engine room. Go down a level and make your way forward towards the bridge. Our contact said that the boat launched just minutes after you sneaked aboard. They thought the whole facility was under attack by the Allies. You must have caused quite a commotion on the production floor. Oh, it's June 28th. Your goal is now to scuttle the ship. Since we want this to be a, since we don't want this to be a suicide mission, the OSS has devised a somewhat daring plan that will destroy the U-40901 and keep you alive. Step one. Hey, how am I getting these? I mean, if the ship is going down underwater, so I mean submarine, how am I getting these? Like, before I just thought, you know, someone was handing me a piece of paper, like a Marquisk or whatever, French Resistance member, but now I, I said that's impossible. 
So how am I getting it? Who knows? Whatever. Step one, you radio your coordinates to the HMS Belfast, which is awaiting your signal. You'll only have a few minutes after you transmit for them to get a fix on you. Oh god, it's going to be a time mission. Step two, now with the clock ticking, find the fin controls and set the boat to dive. Then destroy the controls with a demo charge. Okay, how's this not a suicide? That sounds suicidal to me. Long the zone of the downward trajectory. This is a critical part. Blow the emergency ballast. Ballast. Which will temporarily surface the boat. Scramble up and out through the conning tower before the Belfast tanks fill with C4, pledging the U4901 to the ocean floor. And gosh, I mean... I guess we're going with the Ice Station Zebra route. Would be like that Russian agent. Triple agent. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Sorry. Came in on you, didn't I? I didn't mean to. Did you know, a uh, submarine actually sunk. Or not sunk. At the surface. Emergency. Because someone flushed <laughs>
The unseen terror is always the most frightening. And if you were aboard a ship in the icy north, you were aboard a ship during the war, you experienced firsthand the dread of wondering if you'd ever make it to port. From facilities like Daxmark, hundreds of German U-boats were launched to hunt in their deadly wolf packs. But the Allies fought back. Sub-hunting planes searched endlessly for U-boat periscopes, and when they found one, the results could be devastating. of which side you fought on, this would be a horrible way to die. Yeah, it sucked. Once again, favorite weapon, P-38. Just shot people all over the place. Forty-one percent of the game, done with the game. This is the latest reconnaissance from the Siegfried line. Now that Montgomery's attempt at a shortcut has failed, bunkers. we're going to have to get through Germany the hard way. This is the Moselle River near Metz. Cows. And this is Fort Schmerzen, which is proving to be one tough nut to crack. Thick concrete walls, artillery, machine gun emplacements, dragon's teeth. It's a briar patch of German defenses. Now what you see in the recon is only the tip of the iceberg. These forts go incredibly deep sometimes four or five levels down into the earth. They're completely self-sustaining. They have their own command and control centers, radio rooms, supply bays, dormitories, and kitchens. Jerry can stay down there for weeks, even months at a time. And of all these fortifications, Schmerzen is the biggest of the lot. 